What's an unhealthy obsession people have? Having to be first. It's okay if you beat me to the pump, or if you beat me to the grocery checkout line. It's okay if you get to the freeway exit before me, or pull in front of me on the highway. I'm patient, and it's a virtue. 24-hour news cycles. People are obsessed with youth and some people will do anything to maintain its appearance. Obsession with their social media image. An obsession with everything celebrities are doing. Work productivity. Everybody needs a break, not just every once in a while, but often. A obsession with each other's lives. Seriously just let people live as long as they are not hurting anyone just leave people the fuck alone. Pointless relationships. Settling for less just because you think you can't be alone is not healthy. Love to hate. Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, TikTok, videos that shorten our attention span. Their phones. It's one thing to keep yourself busy, it's another to never let yourself be bored. Being bored is important sometimes, it makes you think helps clear your head. Phones make it ridiculously easy to never let yourself get bored, to the point where it ain't healthy. Being right all the time. Other people's sex lives. The need to brag about how little rest you got between working. We get it, you got three hours of sleep, that sucks, but it's not the flex you think it is. Edit I mean as in people one-upping each other for how little rest they get, like one person saying I got five hours and another saying five? I only got three etc. Celebrity worship. They are just normal people guys no different biologically than us. Hero worship, in general. From celebs to serial killers, self-improvement gurus and fictional characters, religious leaders or influencers. I always saw it as a way of outsourcing your morality. Celebrities. Serial killers mass murderers. Being on their phone all the time, especially while driving. I see this literally every day, despite laws against it. I constantly have to honk at people sitting at green lights, because they can't possibly be inconvenient with their own thoughts for two minutes sitting at a red light. Arguing with strangers on social media. Social media. Professional sports. Hey, I love my own teams, but if you are rioting following a victory or loss by your team, then it is time to seek counseling. Staying distracted and always being busy. Never just being alone with ourselves. Status symbols. Now people are spending hundreds of dollars to look like Disney characters walking around in those big red dumb rubber boots. Alcohol, seems especially prevalent with wine. People obses over virtual numbers like Snapchat streak or likes on Instagram photos. Judging by this thread inserting another comment of celebrities instead of just upvoting the original. I don't know, but I just got a mocha frappe from McDonald's and I'm pretty sure my new obsession with iced coffee is unhealthy. Tastes way too good to be acceptable. Reddit what they eat. For some people this obsession can turn dangerous. Cocaine and ketamine these days it seems. Sugar. It's in everything. It's addictive. It's usually unnecessary and added so that the food is delicious and addictive. Porn. Basically any obsession is unhealthy IMO. Being in a relationship no matter the cost. Disney. This is coming from someone who takes their family to Disney several times a year and enjoys the time together. Some people base their entire personality off Disney and literally live their lives by the mouse. That can't be healthy. Merging their political affiliation ideology with their personality. Collecting. Lots of collecting these days becomes a strange version of resources hoarding, not enjoyment or preservation. Many collections end up consuming collectors, despite the fact that they don't offer any real value or happiness. Politics. 
It's a big club, and you're not in it. George Carlin. Obvious one, but social media. I was waiting to sit down at a restaurant last night around 10 people waiting, each one was on IG. What a world. The need to be right, and feel like theirs is the only opinion that matters. Disney. I have a friend who considers the Magic Kingdom home. Everything is Disney themed. Dude, get another hobby. I called out a co-worker for being a touch too nosy creepy at work after constantly expressing my disinterest. He bought me a Victoria's Secret gift card as a token of his regret. Fucking Trudeau. Lots of people in Canada drive around with stickers on their vehicles saying they want to fuck Trudeau. Especially those oil field people from Alberta. I get that he's the prime minister and has lots of money but that doesn't mean he's good in bed. Weed. I know a lot of people who love to say they are not but it's truly an epidemic, literally cannot function without it. Weed. Too many people treating it as a cure all medicinal treatment when they aren't even sick themselves. Unpopular opinion but. Positivity. I'm talking about toxic positivity that those self-help gurus make millions on roping desperate and vulnerable people into their cult-like seminars. Have a problem in your life? By my book be a better you it's not the world that's the problem it's your mindset. To be clear there are so many great self-help books out there but most are total crap and cash grabs promoting more products. Keeping up with everyone else. Live your life at your own pace. Marijuana. As a daily user for 15 years, it's not the miracle drug everyone makes it out to be and is very psychologically addictive. Taking things at face value without doing more in-depth research before formulating an opinion or stance on a topic. The celebrity obsession is out of control. Why care how strangers live their lives? I've never understood it. Disney. Obsessing over celebrities, athletes, and politicians with godlike worship. Sorting by controversial. Posting shit on social media for likes. QAnon. An obsession with motherhood and what women do with their uteruses. Want kids? Obviously you can't have just one, and you have to be just the right age. Don't want kids? Obviously you don't know what you're doing and don't get me started on bicep. Being a victim. Seriously some people's entire identity entails being persecuted for being some identity that they cling to with all their might. Being liked by other people. Other people's sexual orientation identity. Trying to please people that don't love them. Celebrity worship and the hustle. Obsession with celebrities. Obsession with coffee. Being right. Obsession with staying young not aging. Reality TV. Jerking off. Video games. I work 40 hours a week and somehow play around 30-40 hours of video games a week. It's incredibly unhealthy but half the time is the only thing I want to do. It's worse than weed and beer for me. Celebrities, entertainment, sports. The list goes on. Celebrities. TV video games. I enjoy both but like most things I think it should probably be in moderation. K-pop. I've never met someone not insanely obsessed with K-pop. Politics, 